Um, I got some volume now. You guys can hear me. Um, but uh, this video, I'm talking about how to um, book your own shows and your own tours and different things of that nature. So uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. <clears throat> How about the jet right to the web? I'm a really big deal. I did it my way. I got to these meals. Can't imagine how I feel. I told him I'm probably gonna get to a hundred. I'm so unprepared, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so unprepared. Just bear with me. Join me. Alright. Alright, let's play the song. Let's play the goddamn song. Alright, that's enough of that. I just gotta play my song a little bit in the video so I can, um, you know what I'm saying. Alright, I know y'all waiting for me. I know y'all waiting for me. I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna keep it moving. Just give me a second. <clears throat> gotta make sure everything is kosher. Alright, so, what to do, YouTube family? It's your girl, I go by Neek, and I'm back with another live stream. And today, I am going to show you guys how to book your own shows, your own performances, your own tours, everything like that. I'm going to show you how I've been doing it over the past couple of years. And I'm also going to give you guys um, some tips on how to make it easier to, uh, you know, just do everything. So, um, if you are familiar with Eventbrite, Eventbrite is a um, place where people who are selling tickets to events post the event and you can then buy tickets and things of that nature. Um, when you are trying to find shows and places to perform at, Eventbrite is a great place to start because you can narrow it down to your current location which is, uh, um, let me see, I'm in Jacksonville. So you can narrow it down to your current location of where events are at, right? So these are events that are in Jacksonville. Um, so you can, na you can also narrow it down to music events, but there may be people, perf there may be events that you can perform at that's not necessarily um, music events. You know, there might be um, music conferences, there might be, you know, just different uh, uh, things going on. So, but I'm going to tell you guys what you do when you're trying to find out what's going on with these different events and things. Alright, so uh, somebody told me that uh, I can smoke on YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and light up my light up my little clip. I didn't lost my lighter. Let me this. All right, so let's go ahead and search for some. Let's go ahead and search for some. I told him I'm probably gonna get to a hundred. All right, so these are musical events. So um, if you want to narrow down the hip hop, they have it where you can narrow down the hip hop events. All right, so this is the most popular popular events right here the ones that they got right there so it's just like a list of things that's going on so i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking oh here's something right here what's this this is the hip-hop fest all right jwjk uh hip-hop fest docs and beats okay so where is this at where is this at let's reserve a spot mm -hmm. 
And that's the first thing you want to do. Is you want to... Uh, reserve a spot at the event. You know, if the event is... Has a... also going to follow them all right so now we got our tickets to the event right we know where the event is going to be now we want to go find out who's hosting the event so this is friends of james weldon park okay that's who's hosting the event let's see who posted this event all right so now we want to go and we want to contact them Okay, that's the first thing you want to do is contact the event organizer. So you contact the organizer. So if you don't have your Eventbrite account, create your Eventbrite account. Because again, the Eventbrite is the place where people who are having events want to, um, you know, have the artists come out to the event and things of that nature. Uh, not just artists, but people want people to come out to the event. So they sell the tickets or they use it as a promotional tool. So what I do is I contact the organizer, put your first name, last name, the reason. So uh, questions about the event. And in this box, you basically let them know like, hey, I'm an artist. I live in the Jacksonville area. And I was wondering if there was any opportunities for me to perform at this event, right? And then you wait for the event organizer to contact you back. And once they contact you back, then the doors open they're either going to tell you yes or no um so for instance it's so crazy that this event popped up because i'll actually be rapping in a cypher they invited me to come rap in a cypher at this event so that's what i'll be doing which is why i got my uh my two tickets one for me and one for my girl um so that'll be kind of dope 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 all right so again you want to go to the event find somebody that you know find the contact page of the event and contact them it's just it's literally that simple you know it's literally that simple so um they also give you a suggestion of you know organizers to follow so um i feel like eventbrite is super uh dope when you're trying to book shows um so let's let's see if we can find something else performances let's click on performances and let's see what pops up so these are other bands that are performing at, you know, in Jacksonville. So you can also hit up the people who posted these, like Myth Knife Club, Some Art Walk, Wednesday, you know, Elements Beast Bro. This is on June 4th. So let's click on this and see what this is about. Let's click on and see what it's about. All right, so they got the information at the event, Joy Friends Downtown, Vendors Music Arts Liberation, all right, it's on June 4th, open deck from 6 p.m., uh, drink specials, uh, this is at Myth. So let's see, let's see, let's see if they are allowing artists to perform. So I'm going to actually contact the organizer. This, this looks like something that I would definitely be interested in. So let's go contact the organizer, and I want to hit here, I'm going to put my name. Actually, I usually use my girl's name. So here's what I said. 
obviously you guys can see it. I'm a hip hop artist. I in the Jacksonville area. And I wanted to know. Let's complete let's write complete sentences. Hello. Let's do hello introduction. I am a hip hop artist in the Jacksonville area. I wanted to know if look 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 make sure you read it so you ain't sounding stupid. <laughs> I wanted to know if there was any opportunity see that don't even sound right. Let's do if there's any so let's do if there's an opportunity. Let's make it sense. All right, I am a hip hop artist in the Jacksonville area. I wanted to know if there's an opportunity for me to perform at the Art Walk event in January. I have clean family. No, let's not add that. I have, and that's something that I like to, when I'm trying to do events, so like, this is something that I want to tell you guys about booking shows, right? When you are booking events that are held for the public, such as um, art walks and vendor festival type situations, a lot of the time they don't want you to have uh, cursing. So, for me, I like to already get ahead of the curve. So, I have clean music. Let me just hit continue. I have clean. Let's do family friendly. I have family friendly music that that can appeal to a diverse crowd. All right, I'm gonna send it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hello. I represent a hip-hop artist in the Jacksonville area. I wanted to know if there's an opportunity for her to perform at the Art Walk event in January. God, I'm talking in third person. She has family friendly music that can appeal to a diverse crowd. Alright, we sent it. We sent it. We sent it. Fuck it. Alright. So it says organizer typically responds within four days. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Alright, so the next thing we want to do, hit done. So we found two events so far. We have one event February and we have one event in January. So we on we on we off on a roll, you feel what I'm saying? Like <laughs> we is on a roll right now. Let's see what the tickets look like to the event. Let's see what the tickets look like. Alright, so a VIP booth is a hundred dollars. Uh, that's what we want to get. We need to get a booth. We need to get a booth. So we are going to get a booth. I'm not going to pay for it right now. So it's going to come up to 119. I'm not going to pay for it right now because I don't want to enter my car information on live. But we're going to get a booth. It says this ticket is valid for a bottle. Please note C VIP seating. So I wonder how many people that booth. I wonder how many people that booth covers with the ticket. I mean, the admission is free, so it doesn't matter. So, uh, 
We still gonna get tickets though. So let me get some tickets. Free. One, two. Got to get the one for my girl. Got to get one for my girl. And this is another way you could set up like a promotion. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go around and you know what I'm saying? Now you're being at this event handing out promotional material. You know? This is literally what I do, you guys. Like, it's no secret. I'm giving you, I'm giving it to you right here live on Instagram. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. I need to freaking sign in. I need to sign in. That's what I need to do. I do have an account with them. Alright. So, two tickets. We got two tickets to Art Walk and Eliminate Bistro. So now we'll be down there promoting the Agobanik brand. Make sure you guys pull up. All right, let's see what else we got. What else we got? We also got Monday Night Funk Jam, Holiday Edition, free event. See, I love going to free events. And that's another thing I love about Eventbrite is like, bruh, free events, free, free, free. Nobody got no money, man, to be going all out. And see, with me, like, personally, I like to, I like to promote my music in a different type of atmosphere. Like, I like to go into diverse crowds. I, I, it's, it's just, like, it's the super most important thing for me. Diverse crowds. Um, So, Monday Night Funk Jam. What, what, what are they going to be doing? I don't know. I don't know. But it's free. It's free. So, we might want to go there. We may not perform, but we may go there. Alright. Because that's another thing, like, coming on here to find events to not just perform at, but finding events to just be at. Be at. You need events to be at. You need to know what's going on, where you need to be at. <coughs> Alright, so we got that one. Funk Jam, Soul Fly. Alright, let's keep scrolling. Welcome to Florida Tour, Jacksonville. I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. He's performing. All right, all right. Drop the mic at Network Bar and Grill. What's this? What's this? What's this? We got another one. We got another one. All right. So artist showcase every Sunday. If you don't make it this Sunday, come next Sunday. Get book your slot before they are all gone. So let's see what this is. Drop the mic at Network Grill. What well, they charging two twenty five for though? Let's go see. All right, so they have one on the twenty fifth, the first, and the eighth. So let's do the eighth because we already we already contacted somebody about something before. So. As you see, they are charging for performance slots, but they're also doing free performance slots. So let's book a free one. Let's do a free one. And I guess, like, if you don't book the free one immediately, like, they sell out. I don't know. We're going to book a free one. All right. All right. Man, I'm giving y'all this game, man. For real. I'm trying to tell y'all boys and girls. I'm giving y'all this game. Nobody's giving y'all a game like this. It says, each and every Sunday. So, I need to follow these people. I need to go back and, like, make sure that I'm following all these people that I'm getting these tickets from. So, that, and that's another thing. Like, when you are getting these tickets and booking these shows with these, with these people, make sure you follow them. Because, for real, for real... They always going to have something going on. Always. So, you want to make sure that you always on it. Like, hey, let me get on this. Let me get on this. Let me get on this. Alright, so. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. So, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't found like three performances so far. We got January the 8th. We got January the 4th. We got February the 17th. So, and then also, like, if you come over here on this panel right here, you can actually pick the month. Like, let's say we wanted to find shit all in January. You can pick that. 
or let's say we wanted to do uh, let's say I wanted to pick my own specific date I want to do February so I'm picking February 1st through the 28th what's popping in February um, and this is a great way to like book your shit in advance and I like to book my shows in advance because I like to be prepared I like to be prepared so um, alright so let's see what they got in February uh, 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 Mike Dillon Wi-Fi is free to rule, performing live in Jacksonville, Justice Club. So he performing on the 26th. Wi-Fi is free to rule. I don't know who this person is, but if you got enough motion in the city, I'm pretty sure you can find out how to open up for him. I don't have that much motion in the city right now, so... Uh, I mean, I got motion, like, my shit on the radio. <laughs> you feel me? Like, <laughs> I mean, my shit better. My music is better than a lot of people, so, you know, I got motion, but... Let's see, all right. So let's go to this Wi-Fi's funeral one. He's performing at the Justice Pub. The Justice Pub. All right. Justice Pub. So it says starts at seven. For more information, so let's DM Cheeseburger. Oh, and they do have performance slot accompanied by other coming artists essential for the performance slots vendors. All right. So let's see how much these performance slots is. So, I'm going to freaking find Cheeseburger on Instagram. Alright, so T-H-E-E. -E. Actually, no, I'm a DM Cheeseburger. I'm a DM Cheeseburger. So, I mean, I'm a text Cheeseburger. So, we got 407 864 Alright. Eight zero seven eight six four. Clearly, he wants his number to be out there. Otherwise, he wouldn't have uh, put that shit on freaking event, right? All right, let's go. Hey, man. Do you? All right, I'm an outside artist in Jacksonville. I am. I'm, I'm writing this email. I mean, I'm writing this text message to Cheeseburger. I just said cheeseburger. Uh, oh, look, just got some good news to my phone. Holla at your guala. She starts the night. She's got class the third, fourth, fifth, two days. It's old shit the other days. It's new high. She's coming with me. Hey. All right, I'm, I'm getting a call. Hello? Hey, how you doing, Andrew? I'm good. Yeah, I got you. I could do that tomorrow. Um, morning is cool. All right, bet. Thank you. All right. Hey, that's fire. Fire. Let me handle this. This some this is my real life business. <laughs> this is my real life business. I'll get back to y'all in a second. Hold on, hold on.
All right. What the fuck did I do? I don't know what that was. All right, so I sent the text message. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. So I sent the text message to Cheeseburger. I don't know if y'all can see it. That's uh, I get, I'm guessing that's uh, Wi-Fi's manager. Um, but we also gonna get tickets to the event too. We're gonna get tickets to the event too. The reason why we're gonna get tickets to the event as well is because we want to be able to meet this guy. You feel what I'm saying? So let's get some meet and greet tickets. Let's get two meet and greet tickets. How much is that? That's 130. So we got 119 plus 130, right? That's already money that we didn't invested into our future. What's good, bro? What's good, bro? Hey, have you been watching? You know what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um we back uh um so boom. We just sent the text message to him. You know, and we're going to see what's up with that situation and hopefully, you know, everything works out. I need to log into my account. Let me log in real quick so I can start saving shit. Okay. They sent me an email to set my password. All right, let me do that on my phone. All right, so bum, we have found like four events. So we got two events in January and two events in February. For me, I don't like to be, I don't like to do a lot of events. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna lie, but I have to get, you know, get up there with doing more shows and doing things like that. So we we found two in January. We found two in February. All right. Um, All right, so that was how I that was that was just on Eventbrite. You know what I'm saying? That was just on Eventbrite. So now we are gonna leave Eventbrite and we are gonna come over to there's another place called Indie on the Move. I don't know if you guys heard of Indie on the Move, um, but Indie on the Move. I used to use Indie on the Move years ago, and the reason why I used Indie on the Move um, is because they told you about the festival. The festivals that were going on. Um, so I'm gonna click on festivals, and I haven't been on this website in a while, so it's it's hard for me to like know exactly the the new updates. So bear with me if we get to a part that I ain't freaking familiar with. Um, but um, so like I said, I'm in Jacksonville, so I'm going to choose United States. I'm going to choose Florida. You know, because that's why I, 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 I try to keep it in Florida because I don't want to be traveling too far. But again, the great thing about Eventbrite, right? So like you saw, we got those two events. All of these events are in Jacksonville, right? But what if I, if I change my location to a different state, now I'm booking events in a different state. So let me show you. Um, I'm from Baltimore. So let's say I wanted to go to Baltimore. Let's say at some point I wanted to perform in Baltimore. You know, basically, it's like booking your own, you're booking your own tour. You're booking your own tour, basically. So now, I'm looking at events, choose location, let's do B-A-L-T, Baltimore. This shit acting weird right now. Let me click some of this shit down. All right, let's go. Bruh, why is this shit acting like this right now? I have no idea. Let me activate my account. Let me activate my account. Cause I don't like what's happening here. I don't like what's happening here. But y'all get the point. You can go in Eventbrite, search for the events in all different states. Let's move on. Baltimore is where I'm at. Oh, yeah, really? I'm, I'm from Baltimore. Yeah. Where? What side of, the, what side of uh, town? You from East Baltimore or West Baltimore? <clears throat> all right, so back to uh, Indy on the move. Damn, I done been on live for almost 
30 minutes already. That's good. I'm so glad because it's that it's fucking hard to be on live for an hour every goddamn day. But I'm here now. But I'm here and I'm providing this information and I'm, you know, we, 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 we doing this shit, baby. We doing this shit. Shout out to you, bro. I need to get you some merch because you've been on my live every motherfucking day since I started this shit, bro. Keeping the nigga going because... I'm not posting the live because I need people to watch me, per se. I'm trying to get my watch hours up. Like, there's a point to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to get these watch hours up, my boy. <laughs> Check it out. We get closer and closer every day, brother. So, I posted on my Instagram page, right? Let me show you. Let me show you. Dead ass. Dead ass. Post it on my Instagram page by my watch hours. I keep posting just so I can keep track of it. Three days ago, we was at 500, we was at 3,510 watch hours, right? Let me tell you where we at today. We are now at 3,542 watch hours. Oh, you from over west? Hey, that's what's up, bro. I'm from over east. I ain't even gonna cap to you. Well, I'm really from the county, Baltimore County. I used to live out in Parkville. And then I used to live out in a uh, Prairie Hall, but I grew up in a. Uh, I grew up in a. Uh, where is that at? Uh, I grew up over near Northern. You know where Northern High School at? Nah, that's what's up, bro. Do music, man. We gotta link up to a feature or something, man. For real. I got a lot of niggas up in Baltimore be fucking with me. A lot of niggas up there. Yeah, I grew up over in Parkville, like uh, what is that? Like Pentland Village, Dutch Village area. I used to, man, I used that was my stomping ground for a long time. Hell yeah. I really love YouTube though, y'all, cause I can fucking smoke on this bitch and give y'all the knowledge, cause that's really what I be in the dumb up the house doing, just like smoking and doing fucking, just working. But um. I'm going to have to chill with the smoking on camera because I got a job. Hey, shout out to the mob. Hey. Back to what I was talking about, Eventbrite. I mean, Indie on the Move, Indie on the Move. So, um, Indie on the Move, yeah, I know what that said. You probably know Profit. Oh, yeah, I know Profit. Yes, I definitely know, uh, I definitely know Profit. Yes. We ain't never get a chance to, like, lock in or nothing, but I know who that is. That's the, uh, I, I believe he's white. I'm pretty sure he's white. But I don't. I, I know of him. I don't know him personally. Like we 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 ran in the same circles and kind of you know what I'm saying do that type shit. But yes, sir, I do know who that is. All right, so bum. Indie on the move. Indie on the move. Indie on the move. Like I said, I used to use Indie on the move um, years ago when I first started booking shows because being on Indie on the move. It gives you the opportunity to lock in with, like, get the information about festivals and stuff. Um, there's a lot of festivals, small festivals, big festivals, all around the fucking country. There's festivals, every state. And they have all different types of music, all different types of, you know what I'm saying, bands and just all atmospheres and stuff like that. So, um, finding different festivals is a good, especially if you're, like, a country artist, if you're a singer... Man, I would love to, like, work with a singer because, man, getting a singer out there, man, you could go to any one of these festivals and sing any song for any genre if you're a good singer. You feel what I'm saying? Cover bands and different things like that. So, that's a perfect place. Um, one of the benefits about using Indie on the Move, now, Indie on the Move, been, uh, Indie on the Move has been in business for years. Um, they offer so many different um yeah we need to look with it they offer so many different um things for you guys to use so any on the move actually has a service where they will help you book your shows for you 
You know what I'm saying? It's either eleven ninety nine a month for the premium service, and you get everything for free. You get a catalog with all the college venues. You get the festival conference booking catalog information. Um, you get uh, the just venues and college email addresses so you can contact these colleges and try to book shows. And then you also get press and radio information. And this is all on like the small independent college market. Like there is a, there is a college market of artists out there that are making, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year because their team is on these websites, right? Booking their shows for them. You know what I'm saying? Putting together, routing these tours, using systems like Indie on the Move. Indie on the Move is probably one of the most lucrative ones. There's also, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk br briefly about this. Um... And I need to get a sponsorship with one of these. So we're going to try to make that happen. So uh, so there's the Indie Bible, right? I'm going to tell you something about the Indie Bible. And I'm going to tell you in, in a second. But uh, back to Indie on the move. So again, if you get the deluxe, right? You get everything from the premium. So everything here you get from the premium. You get time email. You get saved booking templates. And you get email analysis. I mean analytics. What that means is that you get to see if... A person opens up your email you get quick pitch emailing meaning they have all this they have a database with all these different events I mean all these different venues in it and you can literally contact these venues directly on your own and book shows and if you got some motion oh man I tell artists all the time if you got some motion and you're not making money it's because your team hasn't put you in the right positions to make money. You know, one of the things about making music and being in the music industry is really hard to get motion. You know, you have to be a person who is desirable, likable, um, you know. Well, how much money? Oh, look at that. I just got me a little, uh, I just got me a, 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 a royalty check. Appreciate it. Got me a royalty check. Thank you. Thank you for the royalties. Yeah, well, I guess royalty checks came out today. Royalty checks came out today. That's fire. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. I gotta post this shit on my IG. Alright, so, uh, yeah, so basically, you know, any on the move again. And they have a free tier, so don't 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 sleep on the free tier because you know you still can kind of get some things done. You can get classified listings, rating, review, men, uh, music venues, member to member rest messaging, show and band availabilities. So like with this one, they show you what's available. You can't really go in and search on your own. Um, so shit, I would advise you eleven ninety nine a month. You can't. That's 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 like buying Spotify. You feel me? That's like buying Spotify. Ain't nothing to it. So, get that shit. But let me tell you guys another way that I book shows. And I book performances. And I book the things that I do. So, we got Eventbrite. We got Indie on the Move. And we got Instagram. <laughs> it's simple. Instagram is probably the best place that you want to do anything. You're trying to book shows. You're trying to get your song and film and television and not just Instagram. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. T-W-I-T-T-E-R. Utilize Twitter. Utilize Twitter. Like, I can't, like I said, I can't tell you guys how to get famous. I can't tell you how to go viral, get more streams on your songs. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell you how to make people like you. I can give you strategies on how to build up your brand and I can give you the tools that you need to continue to own your shit. But what you guys got to understand is that everything that you see, oh, can y'all see my password? I hope not. And that's not the right password. 
Everything that you see, what the fuck? What's the password? Oh shit, I could not fucking remember the password. But everything that you see, that means I'm telling y'all all this shit, this shit is only gonna work for you guys if you say have consistency. You gotta have consistency. Like, one of the biggest things that I be telling artists is like, I can give you this information, right? I cannot promise you that it's gonna work. Because if you ain't got no consistency, it ain't gonna never work. But anyways, here we go. Twitter. If you try to find anything, shows, film and television, music supervisors, fucking all these different things, Twitter is where it's at, right? Twitter is definitely where it's at. But I'm going to go back to uh, Instagram and show y'all niggas uh, the Instagram one. So basically, I go to Instagram, I type in open mic, right, in my browser. I do it from my phone. It's easy to do it from the phone because the computer is weird when you're trying to contact people. But I just type in open mic. Because most of the time, when people have open mic nights, they go on hashtag open mic. So, you just type this, you type it in, and you just look like, hey, what's going on all around. Now, imagine, right, if you wanted to do a tour. A tour, <laughs> not find love on the best dating sites. <laughs> if you wanted to uh, have a tour, right? All of the open mics that you find, you string them together. You string them together. So let's see. Free sub, free meatball subs, music open mics. So who having a music open mic? This is what state this is in. This is Providence. It's Providence, Rhode Island, right? So if you live close to Providence, why not drive up there and go to the open mic? Now you done made a couple fans of Providence. It don't even matter if it's one. It don't even matter if it's one, two, three, or four fans. You have never been to Providence, Rhode Island. Now you got three people in Providence, Rhode Island listening to your song. Uh, let's see where this is at. Where this is at. Uh, one thing I hate is when they don't put what state they in on it. They kind of just assume that everybody looking at the flyer knows what state it is. So every Wednesday at Stir Crazy Comedy Club. I don't know where Stir Crazy Comedy Club is. So I'm going to just skip, skip on past that. Let's see what this is. Alright, so this is in Hampton, Virginia. Talk That Talk Open Mic. Alright, so it's an open mic show. If you're in or around Virginia, uh, it's past now. But, yeah, man. If you're in or around Virginia, that would be a perfect little spot for you to go. Um... <laughs> Ooh. Bless me. Uh, let's see. January 6th. This something looks like a little farther away. So this is uh, Michigan. Michigan City. So this is an open mic. So if you in that state, you know what I'm saying, you want to perform somewhere, this is where you would go ahead and go ahead up there and perform. Like, man, I'm trying to tell you. Finding performances on Instagram is so freaking easy, bro. So freaking easy. So easy. They everywhere. They everywhere. What I will tell you guys is try to stay away from preparing to perform though. Just try to stay away from preparing to perform. There's so many there's so many opportunities for you to go out here and just get on the stage and perform at open mic nights and different places. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> I didn't even know you was watching me. But it's so many it's so many different places that you could go to perform without you having to uh Without you having to, you know, pay to pay to perform, and that's usually what I do. Like I, you know, what I said I, I definitely do refrain from that. But that's one of the places that I use is Instagram. So we got Eventbrite is one. We have Indie on the Move is two. They have free. They have paid tiers. Um, open mic Instagram again. Open mic. Just type in the word open mic. If you if you're an independent artist, this is your best bet. And then um uh the last thing I wanted to tell you guys about is indie bible. The indie bible. If you are not familiar with the indie bible, I think that you should get yourself familiar with the indie bible. I have been using the indie bible for years. I stopped. 
over the last like three years I have stopped using it because I just kind of been off of just like I just haven't been completing my whole music shit but moving into 2023 I told myself that I'm gonna be more organized here you go here's my here's my my schedule right here for the most part but I said I'll be more organized and that I'll um you know what I'm saying I'll just try to like get on my business be on my business like I was on my business when I first started this shit um in 2015 when I was working for other artists when I was working with other artists in 2015 I was on this shit heavy um when I'm working with other artists I'm on this shit heavy but when it comes to my shit I don't be consistent with it but 2023 we gonna go hard so we back on the indie bible we back on indie on the move we back on event bright we back on instagram 2023 so yeah indie bible and like i said i'm trying to get an endorsement sponsorship or something with these motherfuckers because i be promoting this shit like hella crazy but indie bible this is where you want to be at if you trying to get more streams you trying to get like I can't even I can't even explain it. I'm not selling it. I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not selling it. I'm gonna just show y'all. So the first thing is the Spotify Bible. Anybody wanna know how do you get more streams on your Spotify? I'm gonna tell y'all. It ain't just gonna come cause your fan base gonna grow. That shit is it's oh I'm about to drop my phone. That shit is unrealistic. I'm about to show y'all my Spotify account. All right. So. Right now, I have 1,507 monthly listeners. I was almost up to 5,000 monthly listeners. The reason why my monthly listeners dropped down so significantly, right, is because I was running promotion on about four of my songs. Three, maybe three of my songs. Let me see which ones. I was running promotion on three of my songs. I had dropped a song, a feature with an artist. I ran promotion on that. My $100 million song. And then my new song, The Plug, that I had dropped. So I had three songs in heavy promotion. My monthly listeners were going up and up and up and up and up, right? The key to it is to keep dropping songs, running promotion. Keep dropping songs. <laughs> hey, Janiyah. <laughs> hey, Shawty. It's your birthday. <laughs> But, um, uh, so yeah, I, I, I didn't drop any more songs after the, uh, what is it? Fuck. I didn't drop any more songs after the plug song. So I, my promotion for the three songs ran out. I forgot that it ran out. I didn't re-up it for the following month, right? So if you don't keep re-upping your promotion monthly, or every three months, actually. If you don't keep re-upping it every three months, you'll start to see your listener account significantly drop off. So that's what started to happen. I didn't re-up it in a three-month span and started to see the listener account drop off. Now, what, what I mean by promotion is uh, playlisting. The song is on playlist. So let me show you all the playlist that the song was on. Mm-mm. This is a playlist. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see. So my song is on three different playlists right now. Those are the playlists. One of the playlists is 19 streams. The other playlist is 17 streams. The other playlist is almost 1,500. My song was on three playlists that had over 1,500 streams on it. So that means consistently on a seven-day period, I was getting 1,500 streams on each one of those songs. That made my listeners that that had my listeners up because now I got like four or five thousand people listening to my music every single day. Every day. That's that's a lot. You feel me? That's a whole lot of people listening to it every single day. And that's just on Spotify. That wasn't title. That wasn't none of these other platforms. It was just on Spotify. So Indie Bible is where you find the playlist to put your song on. Now I was only on three playlists. You have artists like Drake. Think about it. Drake is on hundreds of playlists. Hundreds of playlists. The streams are not just going to come out of there. So that's one of the things that the Indie Bible does. It gives you 
the uh the Spotify thing. So if you, that's that's the draw. That's the draw for people. But what I used the indie Bible for originally was to book my shows, get more gigs, get more gigs. This is so 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 important. Get more gigs. But here's the thing about the indie Bible. The indie Bible has international booking directly. The directory. International. Like bruh. I have fans in Portugal. I have like let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Show this is why analytics is super duper important. Alright. Analytics are so important. So I have 195 people in Australia listening to my music, right? 84 of those people are in Sydney. With the Indie Bible International Booking, I could book a show and promote it to all 84 of those people, right? And maybe more. But what I do know is that I'll book a show in Sydney and I'll promote it. Or maybe not even book a show, but I'll... I'll post something. Let's say I'll post a picture on Instagram, right? Or post a video, some sort of dope content. Post it on Instagram. Now I know I want to. I can promote it in Sydney. Because if 84 people are listening to me in Sydney, then I can possibly get more than that 84 people. Now we got uh, Los Angeles. 79 people in Los Angeles listening to my music. So these are places where you want to start promoting at when you're running ads every time. And that's a whole nother video. We're gonna talk about running ads right now, but that's you know that's how you can promote it in that in that way. So um, yeah, man, like international booking. Um, of course they got the regular local booking. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, it's just so much. It's just so much. The indie bible is probably. One of the best things that created. And they have the bundle. So they have a bundle where you can get all of them. All of them. The streaming Bible. The It says a... All, here's all their directories right here. That shit is $194. It is worth the money. Because when I got it, it was only $59. And it didn't have... All it had was the booking thing. And the uh, online database. And the uh, the venues. That's all it had. It didn't have none of the other things on it. So, the fact that they have made it, it made so much more. So, this is the ultimate. The ultimate one. So, yeah, here's the ultimate. The Indie Bible. You get the Indie Bible database online. You get the Indie Venue Bible. As an added bonus, you will receive uh, email, the ultimate guide to promoting your music, the ultimate guide to booking gigs. So, but this extreme one, nah, man, get that shit. I ain't, I'm not even sponsored by them, but I need to be. I wonder how I can get a sponsorship with the Indie Bible. I might post something on Instagram, and I need y'all to freaking <laughs> like that shit so I can, uh, so I can, uh, give me a sponsorship. But I got like five more minutes on live, so I'm gonna tell y'all to ask me some questions about booking. Uh,. Of course, most people watch my videos back. So if you've made it to the end of this live, this is your opportunity to drop your questions. Okay. All right. Jeez. Jeez. Is he retarded or something? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. So now I'm about to post, I'm about to post this on Instagram. Let y'all know. Let y'all know. Super, super excited about the opportunity to be I am freaking closer to my watch hours, y'all. I'm closer to my watch hours. So, like I said, I'm I'm streaming live because I need to get close to my watch hours. Close, 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 close. And I'm on there right now. We was just at... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, hashtag YouTube. I'm about to be a YouTube partner, y'all. Congratulations to me. Hashtag YouTube partner. All right, let me add my song. Oh, yeah, let's go out with a bang. Let's go out with a bang.
I got a question. I got a question. It say, how do you track some of the playlists you on? You're on through this show. Okay, that is a great question. That's a great question. So this is exactly how you track it. And I, I think I'm gonna do a video about this. So thank you for the idea. I'm gonna write that down. So are you familiar with Spotify for artists? Now, I'm going to wait for your answer because we delayed. So, I'm going to wait for your answer. If you are familiar with Spotify for artists, say yes or no. Big deal. So, how you niggas feel? I'm trying to get rich still. Want it, need it, gotta have it. Hundred million, no, they cannot imagine. On the yacht, I'm going skiing in the Aspen. She look freaky woman here from the back. What you want? I gotta give me the check. Face pretty and her ass is fat. I hate how my shit is so delayed. <coughs> Are you familiar? Let's see. Yes. All right. So, since you are familiar with Spotify for Artists, on your Spotify for Artists account, hold on, let me see. Let me make sure you can see it. All right. So, this is my Spotify for Artists account right here, right? At the bottom, there's a few, there's, there's four little menus, right? If you click on the second one, if you click on the second one, right, it'll take you to where it says music. If you click on where it says playlist, if you click on where it says playlist at the top, right, hold on, can you see? It'll show you all of the playlists that you're on. Once your song reached 25 plays, the playlist will show up here. Yeah, so all the playlists that your songs are on is show up right into your Spotify for Artists account. Every one of them. Now, if you ask me about Apple Music, I don't know. So the Apple Music one, here's the Apple Music right here, right? So... With Apple Music, Apple Music, it has all of that information right here. It shows you your song streams. It shows as y'all as y'all can see, I got streams on Apple Music too. This ain't no fufu shit. <laughs> this ain't no fufu shit, baby. <laughs> I also use spot on the track. What's spot on the track? What's that? No, I don't know what that is. All right, let me post my shit real quick. We about to wrap this shit up. We about to wrap this shit up. All right, bro. Any more questions? I'm about to wrap this shit up. I just reached my hour mark. Let me know. I wasn't even supposed to go live today. So as y'all can see on my chart, Wednesdays are blocked out. 
So this is the extra live. The reason why is because I am progressing and I don't want to stop. So if I get up and I want to do the live at 2 o'clock, I'm going to do the live at 2 o'clock. So meet me here tomorrow, 2 p.m., 2 p.m., same time every single day. Same time every single day. So you know what it is. It's